Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Catholic Church Apostolic Vicar for Arab Peninsula, Camilo Berlin. Bahrain has been a successful model for tolerance and coexistence between various religious and doctrines in light of the leadership of His Majesty the King. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports hailed the efforts of Bishop Camillo in humanitarian fields and enhancing the values of tolerance and good deeds. Bishop Camillo expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the warm reception and for his support to enhancing the values of tolerance. In line with the directives of the Government Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and following the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure's order regarding regulating and reducing plastic usage, the implementation of the order began. The order will regulate and phase out the use of plastic bags. The first phase will focus on single-use plastic bags as well as banning the import of non-biodegradable plastic bags. Later phases will witness a permanent ban on the use of plastic bags at certain malls and supermarkets. Consumers will not be charged any additional cost to obtain biodegradable plastic bags in markets and shops. And for more information about this significant step forward, we are joined by Standard Specialist at the Ministry of Industry Com and Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Abdullah al -Ghanim. Hello, Mr. Abdullah. Hello, hello. Good evening to you. Uh, uh, can you, can yeah. you please tell us, Mr. Abdullah, on uh, or about uh, more about this decision? Uh, this decision is very important to the Kingdom of Bahrain. In short, it will decrease the lifespan of the plastic bag. And uh, what are the guidelines for manufacturers and suppliers of plastic products? Uh, from today, manufacturers, suppliers, and importers are required to follow the standards when producing plastic bags. They are required to include additives to the mixture and that will degrade the lifespan of the plastic bags. Uh, generally speaking, the previous bags takes about 10 to 12 years to degrade. Uh, the new plastic bags will take about two to three years. We understand that plastic products have negative impact to the environment, but by taking this bold decision, the existence of plastic will surely be de decreased. And uh, finally, these new standards will set limits to many toxic materials, uh, such as uh, mercury. Yes. Uh, Mr. Abdullah, is this, going to, uh, um, is this ban going to affect consumers? Uh, let's clear this misunderstanding. Uh, there will be no ban on plastic bags, and there will be no extra charges. Uh, plastic bags will be still available in our local market. The only difference consumers will be able to notice is a printed logo on the bag, which indicates that it's biodegradable. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Abdullah, for joining us. And that was a standard specialist at the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and Tourism, Mr. Abdullah Al-Ghanim, who spoke to us about regulating and reducing plastic usage. The Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research is the pride of BDF RMS that took five years to come to light, which symbolizes the bright future of Bahrain as well as the bright future of healthcare. The center holds numerous workshops and training courses. More in this report. In February 2019, the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research opened its doors to healthcare caterers in Bahrain as the first simulation center in the kingdom. It aims to serve as a Middle East hub to attract the collaboration of the elite health and educational institutions around the world. The center provides the highest quality of simulation-based medical education by bringing the latest technology and top practice educational approaches to the MENA region. The center also aims to constantly enhance the efficiency of the medical services in order to get up to date on the new and innovative methods and the use of high-tech facilities to teach them and enhance that way the proficiency of local and regional healthcare workers, whether doctors, nurses or technicians. 
Innovation in medicine is a joint effort. Teaching the latest innovative studies and techniques to a multidisciplinary team is the best way to excel in the field of saving lives. The center's mission stands in line with the strong belief that training is the cornerstone for every medical institution seeking distinction in the regularly changing medical arena. The facility of the center enables the medical entities in Bahrain and the region to be global leaders in the field of medical education by providing high-quality, modern technology and simulation-based medical education. The center's sections and services vary immensely, such as the electronic library, training sections, anatomy laboratories, advanced experimental operating rooms, as well as various advanced treatment units which are provided with modern and advanced medical equipment. The center has organized an exceptionally important baseline boot camp that will take participants back in depth into the anatomy of the human body, with a more hands-on approach that will enhance their basic medical anatomy knowledge in order to prepare for any scenario of medical cases. The anatomy boot camp will start on the 24th of August 2019 and continue for 12 days, covering an array of modules that can be attended as a bulk or by choosing certain ones. For more information on the specific program or any other ones provided by the Crown Prince Center for Training and Medical Research, anyone can contact them on info at cpctmr.org or training at cpctmr.org. This is Sarah Brake reporting for Bahrain International. The families of Al Amin, late Ahmed Abdullah Ramadan, Al Khashram, Al Jumeiri Al Hajri, Grata, Al Sayyid, Al Jahmi, Al Zubi, Al Najm, and Al Yahya have voiced their strong condemnation and rejection of the Qatar regime's blatant interference in the kingdom's domestic affairs and the fallacies and lies and fabrications aired by the Al Jazeera satellite TV channel for the sake of subverting Bahrain security. They pledged unwavering allegiance to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, paying tribute to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support. The families of Bouchiri, Bouqais, Sharida, Al Amadi, Al Awad, Al Awad. Al Usumi, Al Kohiji, Bin Sanad, Al Qaid, Al Al Marafi also expressed their condemnation in strongest terms of the Qatari regime's desperate attempts to undermine Bahrain's security and stability. They reiterated their strong, unwavering allegiance to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and vowed to defend the homeland. They strongly condemned the Qatari fabricated lies aimed to sow sedition between the united Bahraini people who have reiterated their firm loyalty to the kingdom's leadership.